Okay, well, uh, our next story tonight, do you want to look and feel younger and healthier than ever before? I'd say yes. It's your chance to talk directly to health professionals tonight. Yes, you can join in on a live web chat happening right now. News Leader Nice Barbara Goche is live in the newsroom with more. Hi, Barbara. Hey, hey, Andrew. Let me show you what's going on. We've got this live web chat going on right here in our newsroom right now. We've got uh, health professionals here to answer your questions about everything from diet to healthy living to exercise. Anything that you want to know tonight, we're going to answer it. We've got Dr. Joy Adebile. She is a geriatrician and a family medicine doctor. And we've got Vanessa uh, Basie, who is here, she's a registered dietitian from the John Amos uh, Cancer Center. And Vanessa, what kind of questions are you getting tonight? Um, I've been asked about multivitamins, and I think that it's, it's great to get, take multivitamins to reach your recommended daily values, but it's also important to remember to include a variety of fruits and vegetables and whole grains. I know we've all heard about the whole food thing, and we've got to be eating whole foods, right? Yes, we can't bottle everything up in a pill. <laughs> but if you've got to take vitamins, there are certain things that you should take, and, and you say that's okay, right? Yes, your typical multivitamins that you find over the counter. All right. Thank you very much for being here, by the way. Dr. Debele, I know you've been getting some interesting questions from our folks tonight. What, yeah. what are you hearing? Um, one of the interesting ones is, um, what do I need to do to live a healthier lifestyle? Mm. And um, my recommendation for that is we do know that stress is a big factor um, in healthy living. It's right. been associated with a lot of chronic medical illnesses like hypertension, high cholesterol, even some cancers have been linked with, um, with high stress levels. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if I was to give you one thing, I'd say learn to control stresses. Yeah. We are such a stressed out society, so that is a big thing. It's important. It, it is. Absolutely. It is. All right. Well, Dr. Debele and Vanessa Basie, thank you guys so much. And again, they're going to be here continuing to answer your questions until 6 o'clock. You can uh, be a part of this web chat. All you have to do is log on to WTVM.com, click on the live web chat icon at the top of the home page, and you'll be able to ask uh, your questions to our professionals tonight. All right. Going to send it back to Cheryl and Andrew in the studio. All right, guys, we'll bring it back in here into the studio. Barbara, thanks. Continue yeah. the good work. And thanks great to information. our uh, guests out there, yeah, mm. helping out with health Stay questions. Stay youthful. Something, yeah, a lot of people want to know. Great piece last night if you mm -hmm. missed it. The Fountain of Youth with Barbara on WTVM.com. Mm -hmm. But still to come. A news Leader 9 following breaking news this evening. Columbus police say a two-year-old boy has died after a car backed over him. It happened this afternoon on West Park Court. That's off Chautauqua Road in East Columbus. And News Leader 9's Simone Doten just arrived on the scene there. A tragic story here, Simone. And she's standing by live with the latest on what happened. Simone? Well, Barbara and Jason, Columbus police are on the scene here of a horrible car accident that left a two-year-old boy dead. I'm going to move out of the way so you can get a little look at what's going on right now. Columbus police are still at this home located on West Park Court. That is off of Chautauqua Road, where earlier this afternoon, we're told a two-year-old boy was backed over. Uh, in the driveway of a home here. That's why Columbus police are here, and that is why we are here as well. Again, the, the name of the little boy has uh, not been released. We have been told that it is a two-year-old boy. Columbus police have been here for hours working this scene. We want to talk with a neighbor here right now. His name is Leon David. He was here when the accident happened, and he's here to tell us what he saw. Thank you so much. I know this is a hard time for you and the neighbors here. Can you tell us what happened? Well, um, first of all, I just saw the little boy. I was, uh, I was just coming home from school, and the guy down there, he, uh, see, from what I'm hearing, he pulled, he pulled up and uh, he, he knocked him over, and he, uh, he ended up dying. And um, he, was, he was carrying him up to the um, right there and on um, the little boy he, he wasn't breathing and and the doctors couldn't revive him so and i understand that the man was trying to revive him someone in this neighborhood was trying mm -hmm. and uh yeah he was trying he was trying to get revived and he was just he just couldn't be revived and he was just he was just crying and he was he was saying the little boy was supposed to be in the house and he was supposed to be in the house and yeah sad day leon thank you so much for talking with us Again, Barbara and Jason, we'll stay here and um, talk with some neighbors. There's neighbors outside here. Uh, everybody is very hurt, as you can imagine. The death of a two-year-old boy has shocked this uh, neighborhood. Um, 
we will have more from the neighbors and hopefully police later on tonight. But for right now, reporting live in Columbus, Simone Doton, WTVM, News Eater 9. All right, Simone, such a tragedy. Thank you.